Hello, this is Doc Sigma, and welcome to Let's Play Super Mario World for the NES. You know, after the total humiliation that I received, self-imposed humiliation, mind you, at the hands of Cold's Challenge, I decided that in order to redeem myself, or at least to redeem myself in my shallow head, that I would need to humiliate this game as badly as it humiliated me. So, that being said, I'm now going to do a full LP of this game, where all bets are off. That being said, apparently this game is copyrighted, 1995, isn't that good to know? This illegal and licensed tech is copyrighted. That being said, let's get started. Yoshi's House. Why not? Well, if I remember correctly, there's nothing to do here, and if I also remember correctly, every time you leave Yoshi's House, you get a 1-up. See, I started with 15, now I've got 16. I would gladly and cheerfully do that all day if I were playing this on a console, but since I'm playing it on an emulator, and since I have long since passed the point of caring, I'm just going to use save states, so fuck the extra lives. I'm going to cheat in a highly technically advanced method instead of cheating in a poor man's cheap little ridiculous silly method. Let's enter stage one. Mario start. And we immediately get assaulted by that sliding Koopa. Thankfully I remembered he was there. You know, if you don't jump pretty much immediately when you start this stage, you are dead. And that totally reminds me of another really bad, unofficially licensed game for the NES called Action 52, which I'm sure you've at least heard of. If not, then please look it up here on YouTube. It's a hoot to watch videos of it while I die from a piranha plant. But anyway, the reason that reminds me of Action 52 is that there's a game in, in the Action 52 called, I believe, Star Evil. It's one of the many overhead space shooters in that game. And they start you literally three centimeters away from a one-hit-your-dead block. So if you aren't holding down left or right, immediately when you start Star Evil, you're fucked. And that really is a pretty good summary of the whole game, and also a good summary of my playing skills so far. What the hell? I mean, the controls are terrible, yes. I mean, I could write a novel about how terrible they are, but there's just no excuse for this. I mean... Nah, who cares? I mean, I really, really... I really want you all to play this game. I really do. You have to see how bad these controls are. There's just... It, there's just no describing it. I mean, the comparison I made to Milan's Secret Castle was pretty close, but, you know, a better comparison might be to the Atari 2600 game, Smurfs Rescue in Gargamel's Castle. If you're familiar with that game, then bonus points to you. But if you're not, in that game, you basically just had to jump over obstacles by pushing the up button. But the first time you push the up button, you just jump straight in the air about an inch, and that was it. No, the only way to actually jump to the right was to, after doing the first pointless jump, you had to immediately press up again, and then you'd do a huge jump to the right. A jump with weird reverse gravity, because you would start off slow, get faster, and then... Have, they make excuses, though. Hey, look, the spin jump doesn't work here. Great, spin jumping doesn't break blocks. Oh, and to save yourself a little grief if you do decide to get this game to spin jump, you hold down up while you jump. That's also how you get off of Yoshi. Yes, Yoshi's in this game. No, I probably won't be riding him because Mario's even harder to control with Yoshi, believe it or not. He goes slower. And when Yoshi comes out of his egg, the game freezes for about five seconds. And when every time Yoshi sticks his tongue out, he comes to almost a complete stop. And there's a charging truck coming up, isn't there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is. Yes, they implemented charging trucks in this game. I don't think they actually do shit. I think they just kind of run around, but that's good enough. Or bad enough. Call it what you will. 
you know, just kind of nice that that uh, that that what? I don't even remember. I was gonna say something about the scrolling. Something that it was kind of nice that the video could scroll up. But then I realized, you know, Super Mario 3 did that already. So it's not like they're doing anything new and innovative in this game. At all. Well, they really have reached new levels of frustration with... I've got to stop talking about the controls. Of all the deaths I've had so far, and feel free to count them if you want. I could honestly say maybe 25% of them had to do with the controls. The other 75% was just either because I suck, or because I'm not paying attention. I mean, I would have to be a total pussy to blame all of my deaths on the bad controls. But I do have to... At least some of them were, you know? They even implemented dragon coins in this. Neat. Jump, see? See, I'm not intentionally slowing down when I stick out the tongue. That being said, I am going to hang on to horse, because... Well, he'll actually be kind of useful in the next level. So there are some jumps which are difficult, if not impossible. Oh, a vine? Uh, game froze. The game f game freezes while the vine's growing. Oh, that's just great. Okay, what's up here? Plus, well, you better stay. Okay, some coins. Who cares? And yes, horse stayed. You know, one of my earlier test runs of this, after Cole's challenge, but before this video, I discovered that it will remember where Yoshi is pretty much anywhere on the level. But if a power-up, like a mushroom, scrolls like a few pixels off the screen, it's gone. Now that's got to be, if not intentional, it must at least be... Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know if I can make this jump now. Well, we'll see. Oh, I can. Cool. I like to kill horse in the process, but that just makes it all the sweeter. And now we're on to World 3, and I want you to look at something here. See that? See that pipe? It's a pipe right next to level 3. So I wonder, is that just decoration? Or is there really a secret exit in level 3 leading to that pipe? Or maybe there's a nice secret exit somewhere else. Who knows? That being said, I guess I am going to be on the lookout for that in this level. Although simply surviving it should be enough of a goal for me at the moment. Because if you remember, this is the level with that leap of fail that I made in, in the cold challenge video, which I somehow made on my first try. Then, of course, right after I proceeded to die very quickly, many, many times in a row. Well, I guess three is many. I don't know if I'd call three many, many, though, but it's definitely many. One isn't, obviously, and two, I, I could accept arguments either way. A three, clearly. Oh, this thing. I got the physics right on that, which is pretty cool. And I think horse is in here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get horse, because there's a tricky jump coming up. I'm kind of starting to cut and run out. Almost run out of time on this video. Watch this. That was a clearly a green paratrooper I just ate, but pfft, still does firewalls. First of all, I wonder if there are blue troopers in this game, and second of all, if so, I wonder if they fly well, when Yoshi swallows them, or if they just... Uh, or if they just shoot fire. Come on, platform. So you almost have to, like, overshoot jumps when it comes to platforms moving horizontally, because, simply because Mario moves... He moves slower than you would expect him to, even after you've been playing this game for a while. So even, even that was just a perfectly normal jump, and I still missed it, even though I was right next to it. And there goes horse. Who cares? I do, actually. I want to at least get to solid land before I stop this. Uh, well, that's just about all the time I got for this video. Please join me next time 
in Let's Play Mario's Diaper Death Trap Special Edition AIDS Cancer Lucariovil. This is Doc Sigma, signing off. Laters.